And now our time for prayer. <coughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you on behalf of a world that is hurting, a world that is sick, and the world that is confused. Lord, we pray for a sovereign move of your Holy Spirit in all your earth. Lord, we pray that you would open our eyes, open our hearts to understand what you are teaching us, where you are leading us. Lord, may it all be to your glory. And Father, we come before you on behalf of all of those who are sick at this time with COVID. Lord, we pray that you would bless them, that you would heal them, that they would know that you are very present there, right with them, and that you love them so much. Lord, we pray for peace in our world, peace in ourselves, peace in our families and in our communities, peace in our nations, and peace between nations. Lord, we pray for our leaders. Lord, we pray for a change of heart. Lord, we pray that you would give them a spirit of wisdom and compassion. And depending and leaning on you, we pray. Come, Holy Spirit of God and heal your world, we pray. And Lord, at this time we lift to you all of our families and our friends, those whom we love so much and may be separated from them. Thank you for them, Lord. Bless them, we pray. Let them come to know you more deeply, O oh Lord. Prosper them in everything they do and lead them by your Holy Spirit, we pray. And Lord, at this time we lift to you all of those who are hurting in whatever way at the moment. Lord, particularly those who are frightened as to what is going to happen to their livelihoods. Lord, for the marginalised, for the oppressed, for the forgotten, for the desperate. And Lord, for those whom loneliness is really extraordinarily painful. Lord, we lift to you those who are dying today. And Lord, for those who have no one to pray for them. May they all know your loving, healing arms around them, we pray, Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we lift to you all of those who we love so much but see no longer. And Lord, this morning we particularly lift to you Valerie Trangmar, Philip's mum. Lord, thank you so much for them. Thank you that we will certainly come to meet with them again in your eternal kingdom. Bless them richly, O Lord, we pray. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the most precious sake of your dear Son, our Saviour, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we come now to reflect back over the past week, for those times where we've been brittle, Lord, or overly confused, or have turned away from you. Lord, have mercy.
Lord have mercy. For those times, Lord, we, where we've been over busy and turned away from others, or been unnecessarily hard or unthinking, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And for those times, Lord, where we've just got it horribly wrong, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now it is time for the peace. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit we were all baptised into one body and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And let's offer one another in our virtual church community a sign of peace. <laughs>